You supposed to be a proper 31 woman, no, that's what you said. That man misleading if he ain't spirit led. How is him that you feeding? He's supposed to be the head. Hey y'all, it's Pikey back at it again with another video. I do want to say shout out to Playback for them reacting to this because I probably would have never found this video. And it's funny because this is a topic and a conversation I've been hearing for years now. And at first I was like, who are you listening to? Like, what are you talking about? And then after they got to talking and I got to listening to understand what they were saying, I'm like, no, they have a very valid point and a very valid reason. It's just in another name. So she's saying that athletes are modern slaves. Whoever this woman is, uh, she's on a show with Brandon Marshall, Chad Johnson, and some other people. We're gonna go ahead and see what this video is about. I wanna see what details and what gym she's gonna drop because at the end of the day, I've been hearing this, like I said before, I've been hearing this topic in this conversation a lot and I feel like there's nothing that no one could tell me otherwise. So I wanna hear what she has to say and then she's in a room with a bunch of athletes so I gotta hear what they feel about it, if they even think that they're in slavery or not. But we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. I do wanna say I apologize for my dog in the background. Whew. It's just one of them days, no Monica. Anywho, before we get into this video, before I click this play button, I just want to say that if this is your first time seeing me on your screen or your turning subscriber, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it's nothing but lit content like this. Now it's allergy season, so if I sound a little weird, I'm just letting y'all know. On a consistent basis, my baby. Just letting y'all know. Perky ain't sick, she just got allergies. I don't get it twisted because it's two different things, respectfully. Minnie, shut up. So, so you don't listen to, okay, that, but that don't mean that Oh, I kind of skipped a little bit. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. They're talking about how, do you understand how Florida people talk? And they was like, it's a bunch of gibberish when it comes to the music. So that's what they're talking about. And there was a part that I wanted to hear because I was trying to skip to see when she started off by saying, you know, that athletes are in slavery. And there's one part that she speaks on and I wanted to speak on it. But other than that, I just caught y'all up to date. You, so basically what you're saying is you don't listen to uh, modern hip hop. But you listen to, you still listen to old school, like, you know, some Scarface, some Jay-Z, some Nas. You know okay. what the hell they talking about, and you're going to understand what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what true. are rapping I about today? I can fight with that. Popping pills and drinking and oh, I don't do that no more. I'm old. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Hold on, hold on. They said age. That's what it is. It's age. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, but that's what's in that. The sound will change in another seven years. There'll be a different He's sound. He's not lying. And I think history repeats itself, so the sound will go back to actually understanding what the artist is saying. Being there's lyrics. substance of what the lyrics. Is, the lyric. Mm. Yeah. I mean, they're lyrical. I still can't understand the shout. What does WAP stand for? What does WAP stand for? What is Why was she so quick to answer that? That's what you make making songs about the lyrics and stuff. Huh? What's, what's wrong with that? Come on, man. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> If you're blessed with it, why can't you talk about it? You don't need to let the world know that that's something that you got. Let that be in secret with you and your husband. Why you want to tell the world? Because now that now everyone gonna look at you as they're not gonna look at you as a whole. They're gonna look at you as body parts. They're not gonna love you as a whole. They're gonna love you for the wop that you claim that you got. How you know you got that? That must mean you must been sleeping around. Let's be honest here. Sorry, I didn't mean to go off, but girl, like, come on. Like, I wanna need you to stand up for the women, especially black women in particular, but you wallet right now, but I'm gonna let you finish respectfully. Sorry, y'all. Why can't women own their sexuality? Why do y'all have such a problem? You wanna own their sexuality, but you don't want women to own their sexuality. And that is the problem. Well, how about this? NFL is modern day slavery. See, I can't even take her serious now because she started off with that. So, uh, of course, they're not going to take her seriously because it was like, well, your team WAP. How am I supposed to say that? How am I supposed to agree with you that I'm in slavery when your team WAP? Anyways, we're going to we're gonna cut that out, you guys. We're going to disregard what she just said about the WAP and sharing your sexuality and, and boasting and bragging about it. And now we're on to the athletes are in slavery. Okay, you see the little transition that we did there? All right, y'all clear mindset. She just said that athletes are in slavery. She said, let's talk about it. Y'all ready? Make yourself better than a stripper. And if it's modern day slavery, you? modern day yes. slavery. Steve what, what, what was the Steve slave, Steve what was the slave salary cap? What was the slave Steve Steve salary cap? Owned he owned me and he, and, he and he paid me millions. And, and how does it feel? And how does it feel? Pay me millions. And slaves got and paid too. And slaves got paid too. Slaves got paid. Slaves got paid too. What did they pay with? With housing. As housing. And a shit. What are you talking about? You didn't, you didn't own your career. 
I didn't know my I don't career. think any football player does. She's not lying. I own mine. I didn't follow any rules. What that mean, oh. though? I didn't follow the rules. Did you own it? Yes. You paid fines. You paid, Look, you paid, quiet. You paid were they fines they were they, were they, were they fines in your Great career? Question. Were they able to control me? Uh, Did I, mean, I follow took your any money? rules? Were they able to no, control me? No, you didn't me? follow any rules. Thank you. Period. Case closed. And that's why that's your legacy is different than others. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this woman, bro? Who is this? Like, I... I love it, but she just threw me off with the WAP conversation. I really should have skipped that conversation because it made me look at this uh, this argument in this conversation a little bit differently, but I'm going to skip past it. I, I, what I told y'all, we got to move and shift transition and all that other stuff. Completely understand what she's saying. Because, Chad, all you want to, you're denying that you were actually owned by somebody else because you had to play when they told you to play. You had to go state to state when they told you to go state to state. Yeah, you may have did not follow the rules, but look what that has cost you, in other words. And that's why she said that's why your legacy was different compared to other people. Makes so much sense. Your game. I don't care. So every, every, the every, money. every worker they every take, worker at a store take, is, is owned by the owner because they get a salary to work at that store. The people that work in this restaurant, they're owned by the owner of the restaurant because they get a salary to be in the store. There's NFL teams, you have a salary. There's to much play more football. regulations no. on an NFL player than it is on someone and that works in a restaurant. I know that you keep changing the topic. Every time you get a check from somebody as a superior, you're owned by them. Your, That's check, what you're your saying. check comes with a lot more limitations. I used to mm. do the contracts. Okay. I know. Is mm. that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying is that your so checks are different than the Publix workers a, and the Walgreens workers are owned. No, because they guess get a check. They Republican, get a check to do a job. Because if you work at Walgreens, you can post whatever you want, you can say whatever you want. Ooh. That's different. You didn't have that right, and Ooh. you don't have the right to judge someone else for how they make money off of their body. Maybe. You make money off of your body. And professional athletes are strippers. Same thing. Why are you looking down on them? Hey, I'm I... asking you a question. You can't keep just changing and asking questions. I don't, questions. I... If you take money from a superior, you're owned. If you believe that, to some it's extent, ridiculous. To some okay, extent, well, that, to well some that's extent. it. That's different Absolutely. ideologies that we think. Absolutely. If I'm getting paid to do a job, it's my profession. Profession. And they're getting paid to profession. do their job. So why aren't they doing their profession? Job. Come on now. Why is it irrespectable? Because you have a problem with women owning their sexuality. Just admit it. Owning their it sexuality. Makes you uncomfortable. Right, Girl, so it makes you uncomfortable. We're talking about like, slavery. You're really talking about sexuality. Come on. What do you have here, chef? Steak house bruschetta. They so eat on this show? They on top of a bruschetta. That and crap is not cooked. Could, they could go take that back even with my stuff with a little grilly on it and go and whip that up somewhere. That's not cooked, buddy. It's still pink. Uh, what is that? Underneath. Very flavorful. A couple of different flavor components with the basil, tomato, and balsamic vinegar. Looks great. Why are you lying? 2020 NFL season. Um, what are you guys seeing? Who are you following? <coughs> Storylines? What teams? Et cetera, et cetera. Because there's a lot going on. We got football. We got COVID-19. What's your procedure? What's your policy? How do you approach that? And then you also have this dynamic of racial tension. I strongly believe, like, black men get shot. Black football players don't play. Because the NBA mm. set the precedent. Mm. So there's like three things that I'm I'm following here. So, But I'm curious to see like, you know, what you guys are excited about, what you guys aren't excited about, no fans in the stand, et cetera, et cetera. I'm excited about the game in general. Obviously, Dolphin fan, Bengal fan, I'm excited about Burrow. I just want to see what else they have to say because it sounds like they're done with their conversation. Like they just... Once the food came, <laughs> look, the, the argument went out the window. But let me see what they have to say. I'll end it after this because it sounds like they're done with their argument. Hoping that the culture shifts in Cincinnati. Fan of the Dolphins. Not sure how Fitzpatrick will do. You know, he's, he's an up and down player. Excited about Tua. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I think the top dogs are going to always be the top dogs. The Green Bays, the Kansas Cities. Obviously, Cam, I'm excited about him, especially after his performance week one. So let's break down before, let's break down. So you, Cincinnati Bengal, you know, all time, legendary, mm -hmm. Hall of Famer. Which <coughs> you said, oh, I don't care about being a Hall of Famer. <laughs> but that's a whole nother segment, whole nother Stop episode. Stop allowing them people to control you off of something bro, that they that's created. What, bro, you can't mm. tell me. You put on a yellow jacket. They created that, and you're worried about being You created something. that. You put on a yellow no, jacket. because I felt I deserved it. I don't, if I wanted to play politics, I would have been a 
politician. Mm. So what you put on a yellow jacket? Because I'm worthy of being. Oh my God! Is he seriously? <laughs> oh my God! You went to college. You know why I put it on? Because I'm a Hall of Famer in my eyes. I'm not waiting for you. So what basically? Oh, what you're I like is, that. That's when I felt I'm worthy of being Hall of Fame. So in that moment, when you put on a yellow jacket, you're like, Yo, I did everything to show. The, like I'm, I'm, show I'm the great. I'm one of the greatest. For, for you. For me. Yeah. For you. In that moment, when you put on a yellow jacket and you scored that touchdown, you came back to the sideline. And you thought about this. I told you why. Oh, so you thought about this in the I hotel room. I told you why because I've across ten thousand yards. I needed thirty-four yards across ten thousand. Mm. And at that moment, I feel I am Hall of Fame worthy, and I'm not waiting on. Mm. You, I'm okay, she plays so interesting. In your mind, you you knew back then that was what? How many years ago? I don't know. So long. Baby. Almost ten years ago, maybe even more. Longer than that. Should I carry on this reaction? Should I be done with it? I think I'll end it. I think I'll end it. Um, the reason why I'm ending it there is because they're talking about Hall of Fame. And I, I completely understand what Chad's talking about. Because it's like, I don't need for others to tell me. I know what I am. I know what I believe I am. Uh, I really like that mindset. Because it's like, that's something that they created for y'all to fight for. And y'all to go at each other's neck and neck. I don't know. I don't uh, what are you guys' thoughts on this conversation? Because, again, if she would have just left the WAP out and then just brought up the, how y'all feel like, boom, 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 boom. Completely different approach. But this is coming from the same woman that said WAP and, and sharing your, your sexuality to the world. And then you had to, what's it called, reiterate the argument and say, oh, boom. You guys are basically modern slaves. How do you guys feel about that? It's not going to go hand in hand because it's like, this is the same one that she's talking about the WAP. So you got, you're not going to take her serious in other words. But do I agree with what she's saying? Absolutely. Because those people tell you what to do, when to do, how to do. Just like she said, y'all can't even post what y'all want to post. Y'all can't even do what y'all want to do because you guys are signed under contracts and stuff. You guys basically signed your life away. Again, you guys have to let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this. Uh, I heard stories. I heard people talk about stuff that they can and cannot do. You're signing a contract. Man, here's a perfect example right here. The Gonzalez twins. They weren't even in the WNBA. Uh, I think they were working, if I'm not mistaken, just correct me if I'm wrong here. I do not have the story down, but it's all going to correlate with each other. They were told that they could not do music and play ball at the same time. So it was one or the other. And from what I remember... It looks like they gave up their basketball career and they end up taking their, which I don't, I don't know how they're doing now, but if you guys know the Gonzalez twins, two beautiful black women, I don't know what they own now. They kind of own some stuff, but, uh, they were some ballers and could sing and was gorgeous. And they were told that it was one or the other. So they was like, yeah, no, they gave up. So you have to give up something in other words, again, contracts. This is the stuff that they make. This is their rules. If you want to go by what they're doing, you have to follow their rules. You can't just come into an industry and just think that you're going to just pop off and do this, this, or that. No, it's rules and regulations. And this has been a business for decades. So, again, what do you guys' commentary on that? Let me know something. Was she capping? Was she reaching? What, did you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. I'm so with it. Put me on. Like, spare my mindset. Come on. Interact with me. But y'all know me. Y'all know me. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next in the comment section down below. All my social media is in the description. It's also right here as well, just in case you missed it. Dang, 600K is on the way. I almost said 400K, then I almost said 500K. What is the problem? 600,000 people are on the way, and I'm extremely grateful and appreciative for each and every single one of you guys who is making this journey basically just like, look, like Birdman, rubbing the hand, just simple. I love you guys, but y'all know me. Y'all know when I start touching my face. Y'all know what I'm about to say. First of all, shout out to Pootie. But have a blessed one. I'll see you in the next one. Your girl is out.